What's up YouTube, it's your boy Sosa London and I'm back again with another video. So in today's video I'm switching up a little bit. I'm going to be doing a review on this CMOS and Aloe Vera face mask. Now I've made this face mask already and I've actually had it in the fridge for a number of days. I'm not sure if you can see it. I mean, it doesn't look the most appealing if I'm honest, but it is really good for your skin. I think a lot of us know a bit about CMOS, it has a number of health benefits for your body um, but I think a lot of people don't know it can also be used for your skin. So I'm just going to be going through a couple of the things, the elements which it has which helps your skin. So it is rich in sulphur, it has antibacterial elements and antiviral elements so I think it helps with like bacteria on your skin, stuff like acne, it really helps with that. It also helps balance out your skin microbiome. So I know a lot of people are going to be like, what is your skin microbiome? So I actually did some research. So your skin macro, your skin has its own microbiome. So it's a complex ecosystem of bacteria that serves as a foundation for healthy skin. So it's not really talked about, but a balanced skin microbiome is critical in protecting your skin from acne irritation and premature aging so basically helps so in layman term basically your skin has its own bacteria which because it's good and bad good and bad bacteria so your skin has its own bacteria which helps keeping it healthy i guess and it's also said it does help reduce your severity of acne that's if you have acne so i've used this mask so far twice so I already have sea moss which I've made in the fridge and I use it with this aloe vera gel which I'm sure you guys can see that. Now really and truly the reason why I'm using the gel is because I'm lazy to go out and get real aloe vera if I'm honest. It is snowing so but if you do have the aloe vera plant it is much better because it's natural. I really do advocate to use natural products because natural products are the best and no chemicals or anything I mean natural products do take a long time for you to see the benefits but you know some things are good and some things are that's one of the cons and not only that it has a number of essential elements such as it contains magnesium potassium vitamin A vitamin K which helps with reducing wrinkles hydrating your skin and protecting it from environmental elements so how I'm gonna use this is I'm gonna pull it on my face I'm gonna leave it on for about 10 to 15 minutes then when I'm done I'm gonna wash it off and then we'll see if there's any differences so here's the finished product so I'm gonna leave this on my face for about 10 to 15 minutes then I'll be back and then we'll see how it went. So I'm back, it's been about 15 minutes I think and my face is feeling very tight. Um, I'm not sure if you've used a Aztec clay mask before you know what type of tightness I'm speaking about but my face feels really tight so I'm literally about to wash it off. We'll come back and see how it went. So I'll be back. So I'm back. So as you can see, my face does feel smoother. Um, my skin does definitely feel a lot softer. Like it's a significant level of softness which I'm feeling, hoping to last forever. <laughs> but um, yeah, my face does feel a lot softer. So I feel like it did help. My face was a bit uneven before. Um, but it's the third time I'm using it. Um, I am seeing results a little bit but the thing with natural products sometimes it does take a long time for it to show i want you guys to try this face mask i'm going to leave a link in the description below of the aloe vera i used um like i said it is better if you do use natural aloe vera gel if you don't then it is what it is but yeah i'll see you guys soon stay beautiful 